He was holding Casey and, and it felt like a moment. And I'm still in love with Brax. But it doesn't mean that you can't have feelings for someone else. I didn't realise he was becoming septic until he was brought in and, and then I obviously knew that it was life-threatening. You know I have no choice, right? I have to report it. Right now, the only option <laughs> to save his life is a transplant. You know, it seems your brother Heath isn't a match, but the good news is Daryl is. Dog. He passed away. Well, there could be others, yeah? You or Ash? That's very good. Trust has always been an issue for us. So that's it? You're ending it? I'm just saying we need some space. We need to call it for a while. Ricky has been tearing herself apart. Oh, no, you should have told this her. This is what Brax wanted. Ash, you have to speak up. Yeah, I get it. What's going on? Ash? Hello? Dr. Edmonds, hi, how are you? What did he say? That I'm not a match, but Ash is. I'm in. Are you sure? Well, that's what Brax would do, if he was here. Hey. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm good. Oh, mate, being in this place has made you a worse liar than usual. <laughs> it's just hard to switch the brain off, that's all. There's a lot to get your head around. I mean, it's good that they're looking for someone for the transplant, but... the waiting list is really long. And the chances of me knowing someone who's a match... I'm trying to stay positive. But it's not easy. Just hang in there, yeah? Sometimes I think it'd be easier if I gave up. Nah, uh, uh, uh. can't think like that. I won't let you. It's hard not to. Well, help might just be around the corner. Are you saying they found a donor? It's Ash. 